I definitely don't want to sleep on this mountain. <sighs> Feeling really grateful that nothing more serious happened. I was hoping to... Hey. Good morning. So we just had an alarm clock <laughs> go off. <laughs> Time to continue moving forward. This one even has a roof. <laughs> Let's check it out. Big blob of sheep. <laughs> so over that way there is a little cemetery and then there is this little village that we are going to pass. We just started hiking and our shoes are already wet. Concrete covers and fake flowers. Very beautiful post box. This is where we are going today. And we are off the blue track, now following the green one. Which is way more interesting. What did you say? Really green. Really green, yeah. Um, not a wide path anymore, but we love these. Green trail. It's not marked with these nice markers everywhere. Some parts of it are marked with just uh, pieces of cloth, which makes it really interesting to follow. <laughs> Water! Time to refill and have breakfast. Oh, well, we need to get down first. <laughs> this is an interesting trail. It's really steep here and it's slippy. I like it. Uh, welcome to the jungle. Where are we? We have raspberries here. Oh, nice. Give me, give me some raspberries. What's up? Oh. So we just rested for a bit. It's almost 3 o'clock now. I was feeling a bit tired so I slept for a little bit after our meal. It turned out to be more lunch than a breakfast. We already did 6 kilometers today. 300 meters of ascent 
So I think it's like five more kilometers to, to the little town that we are going to. But there, there are a few more peaks on the way. There's not supposed to be a lot more ascent. So it's a bit more even going on on the top of the hill, which is good. Let's go. Our lovely trail has disappeared on us again. And now we have to go through this shit again. What? Stinging nettles, brambles. Ah. Go. Oh, what a fun trail. It just disappeared on us. I know that we are dead on point according to GPS coordinates. It's just another abandoned trail. No markings, nothing. And uh, we're just supposed to go up. Whew. Look at it, it's just dead end. But according to GPS, we are straight on point. Okay, so uh, the trail has improved finally, at least now it's visible, sort of, and we definitely see signs of some other poor souls who have gone through this. If not for them, I wouldn't have followed this at all. But it's so overgrown, so abandoned. Oh, look. Yeah, definitely signs of human activity. Maybe someone was trying to bring this trail back to life, I don't know. I got stung by stinging nettles all over my hands and even my forehead. We are happy about this trail, right? Yeah! Yeah, our favorite! <laughs> oh, yes! We are definitely on Green Trail. Green Trail Adventures. We love you, Green Trail. <laughs> At least this Green Trail is providing us with nutrition. Seems like we are finally at the top. But I'm not gonna say more because I don't know what awaits us. For now, a little bit of rest after this shit. What is this? So beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> Never seen this before. So we walked only half a kilometer with a 50 meter ascent and it took us half an hour seems like we are finally back on, on the path this is actually the top it's quite flat but this is it no signpost nothing for to mark this peak well <laughs> it is what it is yeah finally at the top Liptovska Anna two hours away hopefully it's going to be better trails ahead it did it <laughs> skip it up Can you believe that this is the same trail that I was complaining about? <laughs> we are still on the green trail and this time it's perfect. It smells so good here. The air is very fresh. The trail is good. The path is easy to follow. The hill is not too steep. Oh, I couldn't ask for anything more.
Я шукаю мяч кукас. Guys, no kidding, I just saw a bear for the first time in my life. I was, we heard some noise a little bit down from the road and we have to go this way. And the animals didn't seem to be spooked by us, but we didn't see them. We were just hearing the noises and I identified two different sources of the noise. and. And as I was looking down, suddenly I see, like, I don't know, 40, 50 meters away from me, a little bit down, uh, uh, head of a, a bear. It didn't seem to mind that I was there. I'm pretty sure they knew that we were there, and I'm pretty sure that they are not afraid of humans. Um, but, you know, you don't want to stumble across uh, uh, a mama bear taking care of her little cubs because you can accidentally get between uh, the mama bear and the cub unfortunately I, I didn't manage to capture it because I was looking with my eyes you know <sighs> what an experience I definitely don't want to sleep on this mountain tonight I only had like a few seconds of the view but trust me I definitely saw it <sighs> oh my god <sighs> I never check mark done I I was hoping to now we are going to be afraid of every rustling oh. noise around oh my god we need to get off this mountain somehow say check the box Nera, kad jūs puola žmonės. O my god. Now, if we hear some birds or something. We get really spooked by it, but I'm pretty sure we should be okay. No one's following us, at least. And there are lots of berries around for the bear bears to feed. So we are definitely they are enjoying this area. This is their land, and we are just guests. We need to remember that. The best part of this is that the adrenaline, adrenaline rush completely destroyed my tiredness. I'm not tired anymore. I feel like I can run. Of course I wouldn't be able to outrun a bear. Yeah. Come on, let's go. He just essentially sprinted up this hill. <sighs> Wanted to get as far away as possible. Oh my god, so many mosquitoes here. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's not fun. Oh, these are these are flying ants. The nature loves us today. 
I'm glad the bears didn't do anything about us. They didn't seem to care about us. <sighs> well, I've read that their sense of smell is 2,000 times better than the human and 10 times better than the bloodhound. So that means that they knew that we were coming towards them way before these ants. Way before. Way, way before. <sighs> so they, they were chill. They were just feeding on raspberries. They were somewhere behind this cliff. Feeling safe here, but definitely want to sleep closer to civilization. So, tonight I mean. And that means that my phobia of bears the first night wasn't without reason. So we are probably going to move towards that little town. Or I don't know, maybe this one actually. We'll see. Oh, what a day. A day. <sighs> Feeling really grateful that nothing more serious happened. Yeah, time to pray near this cross, I guess. <laughs> so today we were on top of that peak that was difficult to reach. And then we went down and then started moving up, encounter with bears all the way up here to this peak. I think we spent a little time Actually, that could be Hollitz uh, somewhere over there. Or maybe it's hidden away, I, I don't really know. And then our destination, final destination is getting closer and closer. That one, El Quijote. favorite green path. It's funny because this morning I decided okay let's take this green trail. It's a marked path. Many people are walking there. It will be quick. No more of this going off track. No more of this exploring the wilderness where no one goes. You know I wouldn't, I would expect to see a bear in places like we've visited the second day, but not today. But another thing about this green trail is that we only saw one person today. We only met one person on it. When we were following the blue trail to enter the green trail, which was just a few kilometers of the blue trail, we saw so many people. I don't know, like 20, 30. And we only, only followed that trail for a little while. And this green trail, it, it's been just us most of the day, one person only. And then, you know, the rest, we had to push through some really crazy shit. And then, cherry on top, this bear encounter, which ended happily, thank god. They didn't seem to mind about us at all. So I'm really grateful for that. I don't know what that's going to do for my sleep fear. Because last night I slept really well. Um, yeah, I don't know, probably gonna bring the food bag <laughs> even further tonight from our campsite. <laughs> uh, the bear was really cute though. The <laughs> so the ears, the <laughs> round head <laughs> was really cute to be honest. Like if if you don't think about the fear part of it that I felt when now that I can contemplate what happened. Yeah. It's a shame I couldn't capture it on camera but it is what it is. Now we're heading down. Uh, there's going to be a stream down this hill. 
it's quite steep right now, but very well marked path. Um, yeah, so we're gonna refill our water supplies because this is this is how much we have left, and I actually feel thirsty. So we are we only have this much left because we are saving it, but we should be fine. And then I don't know. We need to find a place to sleep because it's almost six and it's going to be getting dark soon and we need to you know do the usual thing where we find a nice spot and then we set everything up cook some dinner but first we need to head get down get some water oh i see a cave entrance here okay let's let's check it out why not I hope it's not inhabited by bears. <clears throat> Hello? No, no bears. Cool cave though. <laughs> yeah. Not much to explore here, I guess. And yeah. Time is pressing us, so gonna keep on going. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is bear poopy, but someone stepped over it. Because they mostly eat raspberries, which are plenty around here, which gives it this color and you can see the raspberry seeds. We saw one of these before the encounter, but I didn't film it. I don't know, I wasn't 100% sure. I still need to Google actually how bear poop looks. But I think it's I'm like 90% sure that this is bear poop. Currently contemplating an idea of sleeping near this lake would allow us to have a nice swim, relax and probably feel safe from the bears because there is it's basically civilization but it's still quite far away even after we get down it's still like four kilometers away Really getting tired of the steep, steep trail going down. It's very steep. Um, we already did 450 meters descent, and it's going really slow, to be honest. Steep shit. Okay, be really careful here. I can show you how steep it is here. It's crazy. Yeah, so my watch is showing 35% incline. Finally water. Oh. And it's good to feel alive. <sighs> what a day, what a trail. We are finally done with this green trail. At the moment, we strive to restore forest stands which are an essential part of a healthy environment. So 
it's decided. We are heading towards the lake because we want to do some swimming, relax, and also feel safe. Yeah, we basically want to get as far away from the bears as possible. <laughs> yeah, they're when we're on that hill, and we are down from it. Uh, the lake is another five kilometers away. It's a little bit past seven. Already slowly getting dark, but we gonna keep on moving. We have arrived. Not much is visible now, but we are near a lake. You can see the lights of little towns on the other side. We found a pretty nice spot. I'll show, show you a bit more of it in the morning. Now we just need to take a rest. I'm so sweaty, I need to go take, take a swim. Hang our hammock, have some food and then, I don't know get a lot of sleep because we were walking for hours and this is not helping mm, you're, <laughs> you're blinding me in total we've done 19 kilometers with 500 meters ascent and a lot of descent like we burned like 4,000 calories yeah I don't know, if we feel like it, we might even light a fire tonight because there is a spot for it here Yeah, okay Pepperoni. Oh, oh yeah.